Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to disable the Windows Check Disk utility that is set to run when your computer is experiencing errors. So if you are experiencing bad file structures or there's something wrong with one of your drives on your computer, Windows might automatically try to run a check disk in order to resolve such issues. However, if this is becoming bothersome and you would just like to disable these alerts and disregard it, um, while I would suggest that you would rather try to get to the bottom of what the issue is, in this tutorial I will be showing how to stop Windows from automatically checking every time your computer restarts. So we're going to start by heading over to our Start button and we're going to right click on it. And then we're going to left click on Command Prompt Admin. And then you want to select Yes. You have to be an administrator or have administrator privileges in order to do what we're about to do here. So now I've already pasted a couple commands into a notepad file here. So just pasting the first one in, you could type it in manually if you want. I will have this in the description of the video. It would basically just say F. S U T I L space dirty space query, then another space, and then lowercase c colon. And then once you're done typing that in, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. And now, after you're done running that command, you want to type in the following you want to do C H K N T F S. And then space forward slash x, another space c colon. And I should note if you have any secondary drives on your computer, you could label them after the C drive, or you have a main drive that is not the C drive, just put that in, in its place. So, if, for example, you had a D drive, you just have another space in between this colon and then type D and then colon. So, if you have multiple drives, this will help resolve that issue as well. So getting back on task here, we want to hit enter on our keyboard once we type this second command in. And again, like the first one, it'll take a moment to run. So once you're done doing that, you should be good. At this point, you can close out of the command prompt and you should be able to restart your computer and hopefully everything will be resolved for you guys. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.